Hey everyone, today we'll be discussing some of the diseases that raccoons can get, some of the diseases that raccoons can pass to people, and then uh, the ways you can mitigate uh, some of the risks that um, of either you or your raccoon. So, mm. so rabies is definitely a real risk, and that's because there's not a whole lot of uh, information out there on how effective rabies treatments are actually on raccoons and that's because um, unfortunately there's no money involved ah. <sighs> so unfortunately people don't want to take the time to research something that's not going to make them money um, rabies for dogs and cats are heavily researched and that's because um, it's a huge market but when you go into things like raccoons who aren't very well-known pets because they're rabies vectors um, people just aren't going to make the money so why should they research something that's uh, not going to be beneficial to them because rabies hasn't been uh, thoroughly studied on raccoons um, people don't put much stock in the, the vaccines for rabies and so if your raccoon ever were to bite somebody they would still need to take your raccoon and oh. They would still need to take a rabies exam on them, and the only way to do that is to uh, put them down and then test their brain and to see if they have rabies. And once that happens, you're clearly not getting your raccoon back. So even though like they don't put a lot of stock in it, it's important to go to the vet and still have his rabies shot done. And if you're still paranoid about uh, rabies, there's also a treatment you can do for yourself. You can get pre, a pre like a preliminary you can get like a rabies shot a preventative rabies shot there we go and that will um, treat you um, in case you were ever bit by a rabid animal and otherwise like you only have that 14 day period to get treated with a real rabies shot but these uh, preventative rabies shots are extremely expensive and so not many people want to go uh, get that done um, but this is mainly for people who want to do uh, like animal rehab and if they're dealing with a lot of rabies vector species um, it'd probably be a good idea for them to get one. So the next disease people can get are raccoon roundworms and these um, it's a kind of a rare thing and but it still can affect humans and it can actually be quite detrimental if you were to actually come down with the disease but most people who uh, encounter it usually can get rid of it naturally. Um, there's very few cases, I mean, I wouldn't say very few cases, but it is pretty rare to be infected by it. They'll pick it up by eating um, animals or small animals or, and things like that, and then they can excrete it in their waste. And so every time you do the litter, um, you could potentially be exposing yourself to that, either through touching uh, the litter box but you can limit your risk to this by bringing your raccoon to the vet as soon as you get them. The vet will test their waste to see if they are already infected, and if they are, they'll be treated. Once they are clear of it, they really won't be exposed to it, especially if they are an indoor pet. They can be reinfected if they come in contact with any wild raccoon waste, but it's still best to have them checked every six months to a year. And the last thing you should be worried about is distemper. And this one, uh, raccoons can get pretty easily. I think there's been cases on the news recently about a bunch of zombie raccoons, and I think they just got distemper. So I talked to two vets, and two different vets, and they both said the same thing, is if you go to get um, your distemper shot for a raccoon, it better be a ferret vaccine. Uh, one of the vets said that the ferret vaccine um, is the only type that's effective for raccoons. And um, if you use a canine one, um, it, it simply might not be as effective and your raccoon could still get um, distemper. And then I had another vet uh, go as far to say is that if you give uh, a pet raccoon the distemper vaccine for a canine, that they could actually get distemper themselves. So don't make this simple mistake and uh, need a raccoon hat. But anyways, don't make the simple mistake. Um, ask your vets what shots you'll be getting. Um, as far as shots go, you need your rabies, you need distemper, whether it's, whether uh, you need your distemper, 
and um, maybe a parvo vaccine. I, I don't think most most raccoons actually get parvo, but if you have the option, you might as well. Um, and just like every other animal, you need your flea and tick medicine, uh, heartworm, and um, I'm probably leaving one out. But yeah, uh, just your generic pet stuff. Um, yeah, but you got to get ferret vaccine. That's important. Other, you don't want to put your uh, pet raccoon in any danger. I don't think it, the percentage for them to get um, this temper was very high, but I don't exactly think it was like a negligible risk either. I, I, I want to say it was around about 30% chance they would get it, but don't quote me on that. I'm not an expert. This is meant to be used as a guide, so do your own research uh, and don't rely solely on this. I'm just, this is just from me talking to vets, other people with raccoons, and some a little bit of research on the side. But if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification. Thanks for watching. Oh, he's all wet. Gross.